Yeah, something quick I'd like to mention. I will leave a, a link in the description down for the uh, parts that I use for the shifter kit, uh, shifter cable bushings, and then the short shifter kit. Hope you guys like the content. You know more to come, and I appreciate you guys already at twenty subscribers today. And I'm really excited. You know, I consider that a milestone because I'm like a fifth away from a hundred. So then my next goal would be a hundred, and I'm excited, guys. Just stay tuned, and you know more to come. All right, guys. Peace. Hey, what's going on, guys? Maui here again. So today, I'm actually going to uh, try to install my short shifter kit and get the bushings in for the shifter cables that connect directly to the transmission. So let's get to it, guys. I'm going to remove this center console trim piece right here. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's two tens inside of here. I don't know if you guys can see them. Sorry for the mess, guys. Let me clean this car in a minute. Right? There's one ten right there, and there's another one under the pen, and then I smoke the cigarette thing. And then obviously, you unscrew this. This is your shift knob. And uh, let me get let me get this all taken off, guys. And uh, one more thing I forgot to mention: this uh, you take this off first. Kind of just I uh, use a little screwdriver to pry off of it. And after that, this should come off when you remove this screw and this screw and those tens that I had mentioned down there. And uh, what helps me is probably take pulling your uh, your e brake or your, uh, yeah your e brake. Just push it up so that when you pull this out, it'll come off pretty easily. So let me show you guys. Uh, one more thing, guys. Sorry. Uh, this clip right here, where's it at, right here, this one, it attaches to this right here, it's just, it's two pins on the side, you just push, push them in, and it pops right out. So, it's off guys, uh, also, don't forget, you got three more connectors in the back, cigarette lighter, uh, for your aux, I'm not sure what this one's for, but just, you know, don't forget to disconnect those, and, you know, nothing too, nothing too complicated from here, it's four bolts, one, two, uh, let's see, three, you got four right here, and then you just got to disconnect these. These ones shouldn't be too complicated. Let me take them off real quick, and then I'll explain to you guys what I did. All right, guys. So I just need the bolts left. I already disconnected these, uh, the cables, and then they disconnected from the shift housing. So this one's not too bad. It's a clip. Let me can show you guys. So, oops, sorry. So this one right here is the one that goes through here. For right, this one, it's not complicated. It's got a hole in it. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if you guys can see that hole right there. Right, it's like right there. Yeah, basically you just put this pin through it and you should be fine. And then this thing will just come off like that. For the bottom one, a little bit more different. So it basically sits. Let me just move this right here. So it sits in that ball right there. And it has, uh, let's see has this clip right here basically what it is it'll go around it and oh sorry it'll go around it and it'll spread out like this you just got to open it up and push it down and that takes out the locking portion of it the cables themselves from this thing uh you basically it's gonna have this white piece on it's like a locking tab i don't know if you guys have messed with fuel lines before these they'll have some something similar or uh, i've seen some evap poses as well just push it out and the way this works is that it'll sit, it'll sit right here in the middle, but you basically just have to, you see how this twist is? So it's gonna twist and it'll give you enough room to wiggle it back and forth and then just basically pull it out. It's not too complicated. Once you guys mess with it yourself, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not too sure where this is gonna go to be honest. So bear with me guys. This is what I want, guys. I want to get under it. To hopefully try and possibly be able to get something else under it. Okay, there you go. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. There you guys. Okay. We're back. I got it off. It's not too bad. 
I did end up breaking it. I don't know if you guys can see right there. Um, see if I can run to my, uh, you know, parts or hardware store. See if I can find something close to this. If not, I'll just reuse this. Like I said, it's, it, it'll still go in. I just got to kind of, you know, I guess, you know, force it back in there. <laughs> Wasn't too bad at all. This portion right here, it is kind of like press fitted, as you guys, as you guys would say. Make sure you throw some grease, grease you know, clean it up, throw some grease on there. I got some in my uh, in my toolbox. And same thing, you're just going to have to just hit it back in because these are press fit. So, not too bad, actually. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder. So, now my next focus is this portion right here. I'm hoping. I have an extra. Oh, cool dust. Oh, nice. Dust come off. So same thing with this guys, it's just gonna put some lubricant on here. See if it just makes the install or the removal easier. Keep in mind guys, guys, this thing's been together for you know a couple years, guys. So just give it some patience. Give it some time and patience and it should come right off and always be careful because this is plastic. One sec guys. Uh when you're prying it off just slowly, uh what I was doing. I had one screwdriver right here to pry this back portion and then I keep it in here and with the other one I pry this portion it might sound like the plastic it's cracking but it's no it's just like since they, they were made it together that it's just the plastic you know see what you see you hear that it just it's just the plastic rubbing on plastic just gotta be careful some pieces will come off but just be patient and this thing and you guys can get it done too I seen other videos where guys were taking a long time. Oh, let's see all that. See, sounds like it's breaking. But I seen videos where guys were taking like a long time to take this off. Wouldn't really show exactly what they were doing. So this is kind of like what I'm trying to do, guys. Just show you guys exactly what I'm doing. And voila, just like that, comes right off. Next thing you'd want to do is take this off. It's like a, I guess you could say the same thing as as this. It's like a washer. To prevent it from just you know coming all the way off not too bad just it's made out of plastic so again be careful and it should come right off just like so and it is off guys all right so that's off that's off and actually i'm gonna clean this up a little bit and i'm gonna throw some more grease on there so let me go get the stuff real quick got a couple more things paper towels clean up the this mess right here got some grease i'm using um High temp disc brake grease. I, I think you should be fine. I don't think this is like a specific, specific one. So the next thing I'm actually trying to do is take this, this thing off right here. I think this kind of works as like a bushing. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is supposed to uh, come off and go into the new one. So let's, let's get on with it, guys. Let's see. Same thing, guys. Just be very careful. This is plastic, so. The last thing you guys need is for this to, you know, break off and you know, ruin your day and stuff. Trying to find the part, but yeah, look, came right off. Not too bad. I use these pliers I got. I think I bought these for. I don't even remember what I bought them for. I use them quite a bit. Yeah, came right off. Throw it on the new one. Oh, well, actually, before I forget, don't forget, guys. A little bit of grease. Make it easier for the install and then for, you know, for the use of this thing. All right, got the grease. Okay, let's put this bad boy back on. All right. Oh, shit. Oops, sorry for the language, guys. Damn it. Pops right back in. So let me do this. I don't want to get any grease on my uh, bed. So, fortunately, I got some on my shirt. It is what it is. Alright, we got some grease on this thing. Whew. I just kind of got to break it in with the grease. Sweet. Just break it in a little bit. Yeah. Make sure it's flowing nice. 
And that it is. Cool. All right. So this thing's good. All right. So next thing is cleaning up all of this. Um, again, this is up, you know, up to you guys. How every, how much you guys want to clean it. So these things right here, since we have extended bolts and everything, I'm gonna go right here from. That's it actually, not too bad. Pretty excited guys. Um, I remember wanting to do this to my car for the longest time, a couple years ago, uh, back when I was attending UTI. Yeah, back in like 2019, 2020. And then 2021, I was like, oh, I'm going to do this, this, and that to my car. Just never got around to it. Kind of lost motivation a little bit. But, you know, here I am again. Or here I am back, you know, trying to do what I said I was going to do to my car. Okay, so say another thing, guys. Put some grease around this portion right here. Just same thing, same idea. Just make the install easier. Right, so let's see. Right there, like so. Yeah, so I'm just trying to make my life you know as easy as I can, guys. Um, I don't want to be here all day either. And I work tomorrow. I actually want to try to edit this video today, get it uploaded, and you know try to be consistent with like like two videos a week, give or take. Because I'd love to. Have. with it a little bit. Pretty good. Let's go on in. All right, just like that. Oh, there we go, just like that. So this is how you guys want it. Just like this. Put it in there. Just like so. Well, that's in place. That's in place. Alrighty. Now, next thing is to get where's the pin at? This bad boy right here, guys. Same thing. Just gonna grease, you know, grease it up. You know, just kind of like I said, guys. All of this just for easier install or easy install, and in the near future, if I ever decide to uh, remove it for some reason. All right. So, get in there. So. All right, I got it to work. Luckily, I didn't break the clip, so I still have another extra one. So basically, and then there's like a little black or black piece or something. It's supposed to sit in between it there to so allow you to basically shift it from side to side. Quick tip, guys. When putting this one on, which connects to right there, Make sure you put this clip on first, and it's kind of like, it'll basically lock itself when you push it back in. I, I try to put the this portion back in bef before putting the clip, but this is a whole lot easier. You basically put that back, the clip right there, just like so. And that's also what I meant, guys. You kind of got to like split it and then push it down to take it off. And then, yeah, just basically slip it right in, and it'll just, you basically hear like a click noise, and then you should be good. So, she's on, guys. Um, what I realized is that, um... Yeah, it does, does feel a whole lot better, actually. I don't really have, like, as much play as I used to. In order to fix this one, um, I'm going to try to see if replacing the bushings where the cables connect to the transmission directly fixes that. But I noticed a lot of guys who did this install, they had issues with uh, this shifter for some reason hitting up against this, uh, the AC, or, like, the head unit over here. I'm not having that issue. Um, it, looks pretty, it looks pretty cool. Um... I have to figure something out for this. I'm gonna run a thread chaser all the way down so I can put this nut all the way down here to where I can like kind of adjust where I want this. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This is like a, a second part of the video. I'm gonna be installing these uh, bushings right here. They're supposed to be, I think they say like billet or something. So directly where the cables connect to the transmission, I know you guys can see it down there. Uh, let me take off my intake and then I can give you guys a, a better video or like a better, I'm uh, oh, sorry. A better view of what I'm doing. Uh, this is the brand I'm going with. It's called TCS. I ordered it from eBay. Uh, let's try it out, guys. All right, uh, it's nothing too complicated. 
this clamp, this clamp, and this one, 10, and then both of these are eight. So I don't know if you guys can see right there, those two cables right there. One is right here. Oh, sorry guys. Right there and right there. Those are the two things I'm basically gonna be replacing, those bushings right there. So, all right guys, uh, took me a little bit, not too long. So that's what I'm taking out, out of, yeah, so took them out of these things right here. Uh, let it focus. Okay, it won't focus, but if you need to, there's some, like, I guess some locking tabs that are on there because the cables sit, oh, one sec. Uh, right there, you see in those two, like, I guess you could say circles, that's where they sit. I took them off just to be able to move the cables closer to me so I can pry them out with uh, the bushing with that screwdriver or turn something a little bit smaller. Just be careful, guys. Try not to break anything. So as far as the... I'll let this focus. Sorry, guys. Okay. So as far as the same thing, it's the same process. They're a press fit. So you're just going to have to push them in. Be careful, guys. Uh, don't forget the washer. And don't forget these bigger ones as well, just to hold it in place. Also, guys, uh, these actually do have instructions. So this is basically how they want it to sit. I already got one on, as you guys can see right there. Sorry, it doesn't really zoom. Or it doesn't focus too well, but yeah. So, so you guys see the comparison right there? It was wearing out, so that's why I decided to change them. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. As far as feel, let me give you a quick little... Uh, review on the feel of it one thing take to note guys it isn't gonna be a whole lot louder because it's not rubber it's basically solid steel you guys can hear that oh big difference guys 100 percent would recommend it um i couldn't really find any other short shifter kit wait no i think torque solution might have one for the for this car as well and yeah so as far as the driving experience let me um i gotta get the car uh running again it runs and stuff but still waiting for a couple parts to be able to drive it on the road so you guys don't have to wait on that portion but as far as feel though oh big difference it feels really notchy and i'm, I'm excited to drive this guys all right so that's it guys hope you guys like and subscribe and you know stay tuned for more content all right guys i gotta be out peace